Get started on the right track. Keep it locked to The Drive with James Curtis on Hometown Christian Radio for the GTA. Listen every weekday morning on Joy Radio. Nile Motormouth Jenkins. Now, you're here with me. Is the motormouth mean that you talk fast and nonstop, or is it just talking about cars? Well, some say that once I get started in talking, that uh, I do about 100,000 100, words a minute with gusts up to 200,000. So that's how <laughs> I gain that, <laughs> that moniker, so and the, to speak. And there's your weather forecast for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, you are a licensed uh, automotive service technician, and you've got a show called Car Connection. And this is... It, it basically, it's happening this time tomorrow, starting at 7 a.m. You're going to be opening up the phone lines to take questions about the uh, maintenance and care of your vehicle. And this is a really good time for it, too, because a lot of people self-isolating at home, they've got lots of time on their hands. A great opportunity to focus in on problems with their car, whether it be when to take the winter tires off or how often should you go for an oil change? You know, what about servicing the brakes? What about troubleshooting strange noises in your vehicle? Preventative maintenance? Should you use additives? And if so, you know, when and where? You know, that sort of thing. What do you like talking about on your show? Pretty much everything. Um, I mean, when it comes to vehicle maintenance, probably the, uh, the most talked about is preventative maintenance measures instead of waiting until a vehicle breaks down service lights on and you know with some people service light might be on for three months six months get a picture of your dog on there a piece of black electrical tape or a favorite picture of someone in your family to cover it up but preventative maintenance measures is the key to longevity to being able to keep your vehicle as long as you like and pack half a million miles on a vehicle is not unheard of today but What's the common denominator that you get lucky and you get a really good one off the line? No, it's preventative maintenance. Having a preventative maintenance package and a technician working alongside to guide you every step of the way to prevent your vehicle from breaking down and having to lose time off work. The kids aren't getting to and from their programs. Life goes upside down when the car is broken. So preventative maintenance, that's what we promote a lot with all areas of life during car connection as well, not just automotive. And it's certainly a lot more cost effective to maintain your car regularly versus the thing breaking down and then you've got to buy a new one. Absolutely. It puts yourself in a corner very, very quickly. So if you're you know, mistreating the vehicle that you currently have, and that gets to a point where there's so many things wrong with it that the repairs outweigh the curb price that the vehicle's worth, people go, well, it's just not worth putting that kind of money in. And then when they realize, oh, our finances aren't good and how are we going to buy another car? But what I look at is if you've treated the previous one with disrespect and it's become unreliable because of lack of maintenance, what's going to change when you get the next one? Nothing. Nothing changes. You know, I've been a service tech, licensed tech since 1988 and I, I hold my 310T, which is trucks and coaches and highway trucks and equipment, as well as a 310S, which is for light truck and passenger vehicles. And I look at the cost to purchase a vehicle today, and I just about go into defib. You know, I go, wow, who knew? Who knew a pickup truck would be $60,000-plus? You know, and why do you want to mistreat that piece of equipment? If it were a bulldozer or a helicopter, would you want to mistreat those items? Probably not. <laughs> so is there a magic percentage of, uh, like when you look at a vehicle, say the vehicle's uh, you know, 10 or 12 years old and it's got a bunch of stuff wrong with it, I guess you would probably look at what the, what the curb value of that vehicle is versus uh, what it would cost to repair whatever's wrong with it. What's, what's that magic percent? Here's the way I, I look at it a little bit differently. Because, you know, having a shop of my own on the Hamilton Mountain for 11 years, um, not only had to be a service tech, a service writer, service manager, and the guy on the floor working on your vehicle, but I also had to be a counselor. Had to be a marriage counselor and a financial planner, all of it. Because here's what I would see is I got a vehicle in my service bay. It came in on a flatbed. It's got multiple problems. Um, we're not only looking at the reason what is the causal component of how it arrived here on a flatbed, not running? But then when you start looking and evaluating the car, you see problems everywhere. But here's what I look at. 
all right, the vehicle might be worth $1,500 curbside out the door, right? That's a, that's a curb value. Or, you know, as some people say, the blue book or black book or whatever value you want to come up with, auto trader, who knows? Right. Here's what I've seen for many years. It might be worth $1,500 and it's going to be $3,200 to get everything fixed up and get that car back on the road. But your finances are upside down and you've got the debt dragon that needs to be slayed because, you know, your credit cards are maxed. You've got a personal line of credit. You've got a second mortgage. These are facts. Canadians are spending a doll over a dollar seventy one and making a dollar. So your dollar seventy one, your seventy one cents for every dollar you're making in the hole, and it's actually higher than that. So here's the fact: fifteen hundred dollars a car is worth thirty two hundred dollars will get everything fixed up, and then if you start taking care of this thing that's paid for, bought and paid for, it becomes a serious asset to your household. So you can then focus on the things that really matter: the finances, getting your finances in order. You know, stopping the the uh, in-home moments of intense fellowship with your honey over finances. That area can get fixed. You can stop abusing the car and thinking that it's maintenance-free because that seems to be the buzzword for a lot of people. Nothing's maintenance-free. That's right. Nothing. We are seeing that from a dealership level where service is no longer be, being promoted. They want to get you into a new car. But for that household with four kids, one income or one and a half incomes, and now you got a car that's down, but it's paid for, but it's not worth the amount on the invoice to get everything corrected. That car is an amazing asset. Well, having said that, if that car is an amazing asset and it, like you said, it was going to cost three grand to repair this thing. Yes. But what about looking at it and say, okay, this is a write off and just buying another used vehicle versus a new one? Because a new one you're going to pay through the nose. What about just finding a, a used car that's in decent shape? Well, generally, what we then are dealing with is how are we going to finance this, honey? We don't have the money to buy another car. Right. So that's when reality checks in big time is, okay, we didn't look after this. Now the thing's got three three grand worth of repairs. The repairs are worth more than the car, but we don't have the money to get into another one. It means trying to finance it and wiggle it some way to get it into our hands. And there's no money for maintenance. Right. I mean, if I'm going to spend three grand either on a repair or a replacement vehicle, I would kind of Personally, I would probably lean towards just replacing my vehicle. If I'm going to spend $3,000, maybe I can find a decent car that's perhaps newer, less kilometers, in better shape, better resale value, if that's one of the things I'm looking at, and consider that versus spilling all that money into the repair. I, I don't know. Just, just I guess it's a personal preference and looking at the long-term investment on either vehicle, whether it be repairing it or getting another one. Correct. As long as the structural integrity is good on that vehicle that's now broken with a $1,500 curbside price tag, what it's worth, and your repair bill is going to be $3,200. Those are just examples, but they're reality examples too. Yeah. Is uh, if finances are upside down and you're already under the, under the pressure of the debt dragon, from a financial standpoint and working with a financial certified financial planning professional for many years, I'm going to ask my financial planner, what do you think? And I know what my planner is going to say. He's going to say, you're going to keep that puppy going and we're going to work on getting that debt load down uh, so that we can get you in a better position where you're upright. And then purchasing that next vehicle can be part of the game plan of a financial plan. And that's why we've included um, our planner segment during our program as well was due to the fact of me seeing the number of families that get themselves upside down when the car's broken and we're in that position, the repairs outweigh the cost of the vehicle and there's no money. And that's why we developed the planner segment during our program and has helped people engage their finances so that you have a game plan, not only take care of the present vehicle you have, but be able to have the money there. And number two, plan ahead for that next vehicle purchase so that you have a game plan should the old beater goes down and goes down in its DNR, do not resuscitate, <laughs> Right, <laughs> that you have a game plan to move forward. That's why we put the financial planning segment during our program is to help people to say, hey, 
If you're saying to yourself, I don't have any money, then that's a reason you need to grab the coattails of one of our certified financial planning professionals that I've worked with for many years. I know each one of them for over 20 years. And I'll tell you what, when you sit down and show them what's going on, they will draft a plan that will get your ship going in the right direction with the compass needle in the right direction so that you can plan your strategy and know that you have the finances to fix the car you have and keep it going and love it no matter what. It may not be your dream car and it may be older, but you know what? If it's paid for, it's a great asset that you need to hang on to. And then get your finances in order and get that plan prepared to purchase the next vehicle. Well, there's a few reasons right there why people should be tuning in and checking you out tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Yes. Uh, Questions on your car, noises that it's making. uh, You've had an estimate from somebody already. Is it worth doing the repair? And quite frankly, a lot of shops not at full capacity right now with this COVID-19. So this is free advice. Why not, right? Exactly. I mean, here's a great opportunity to have access to a fully qualified licensed service tech. I got a lot of mileage on me from all all the experience praise god for all of it because he has really put me in some places where i can really help you even with factory warranties understanding that understanding a maintenance plan on your vehicle how that is a great asset to you and helping you to understand the feature benefits of having that maintenance plan sticking to that plan like a postage stamp till it gets there and you know what the car doesn't have to be stressful in your life and in your household just doesn't sounds good looking forward to tomorrow morning with nile motormouth jenkins on car connection thank you for having me Broadcasting to over 9 million people in Ontario is no small undertaking. For nearly 20 years, Joy Radio has been used by God to transform lives and save souls. We need your help to continue our mission. Please support our advertisers and programmers. Find a list of our ministry partners at joyradio.ca slash support. Thanks for choosing Joy.